Okay guys, I'm uh, just going to do a quick um, first day. Basically the way I'm going to do my um, follow up to the V Pro is I'm going to do a daily diary and um, today I'm going to just tell you how I've been getting on. Uh, tomorrow is I'm going to go through the menu system with you. I'm, yeah, if, uh, yeah, I want to do it that way. Today I'm just going to tell you how I got on with it. The whole thing as it comes out of the box, the V Pro battery, the tank, the dripping, uh, the drip tip, and the mod itself, obviously. Um, and tomorrow I will go through a bit more technical detail with you how it charges, because well, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, Basically, I received it yesterday morning, uh, so sort of mid morning, and um, sorry about that. Somebody was messaging me on the old book of face, um, and pretty much with a bit of regard, w w waiting to do the initial thoughts video. Um, I did bugger all with it except try it with my existing tanks and atomizers, um, which is a very quick try. I mean, the first vape went to um, the wife, and then obviously Ryan tried it, and then I obviously got onto it as well. So it was a very, very horrible day yesterday. It was quite a horrible way for it as well. We've been quite excited about this. And do you know what? I've not been disappointed so far. I mean, this has not been charged at all since I received it and we are now pretty much one o'clock uh, what is it, Saturday morning um, and it's still going very strong if I just put that up to the microphone you can hear it crackling away lovely it's had about three tanks of juice now pulling out some cracking vapour for what I'm going to presume is a clone Vivinova. Um, it's 2.4 head, it's given the requisite throw hit that I require. Um, it's doing really well. Uh, if I'm just going to do the old um, battery check here. So 1, 2, 3, voltage up, uh, check battery, 3.5 volts. So that'll be dropping out pretty soon tanks a bit noisy, I don't know if you could hear that so I saw a sound it was doing through the air holes but that's about the only real fault I can find with it so far this has been day one we'll see you tomorrow with day two bye bye Okay then, boys and girls, day two of the V Pro. Oh God, he says trashing it. Well, as I said, today I was going to do the menu with you. So, three clicks, voltage up. Um, I believe that's system on or off. I also believe it on. Battery check. We'll check battery. Uh, atomizer ohms. AO. Um, light on or off, and that's the wattage setting up and down. You see, it's on 8 watts there. Now, basically, now that I've selected that, if I had the light on, okay, and then it says 8p on power, but you may as well use watts. If we go to voltage. 4.5 volts. No, no, say 4.5 volts. I've had a whole tank through it today. I've got to say, I'm very, very, very pleased with this Vivi clone. Um, the thing I'm most enamoured with is the drip tip. Whatever happens to this device once I'm finished with it, um, I'm keeping this. I really do like that drip tip. I don't know why. It just fits. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I don't know if you can hear that, but 
the atomizer, the Vivi Notter, um, has become a bit whistly. Um, but other than that, it's still giving great vapour. I have discovered there's a cut off. Um, that seems to be choosy as and when it wants to work. So that's day two. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it and tell you about it tomorrow, but um, I'm going to try a different flavour and see how the flavour leaches through without washing the tank. Because I know a lot of people just dump flavour on top of flavour on top of flavour. So I'm going to see how we're going to do with that tomorrow. I've got um, long bottom leaf in there today from the pipe source range, and I'm probably Let's see if we can find the flavour to put into it tomorrow. I've uh, got custard in the pipe. Uh, let's try fruity. Anything fruity? I know. What the, no, I think. Um, oh. well, I'll tell you what, we'll have that one. That fake cheese for me. Live wire. Liquid, blimey, that's quite a fruity, sort of bubblegummy type sweet flavour, so we'll dump the rest of that in there tomorrow, I think. Probably wouldn't be half a fill, actually, thinking about it, but we'll see how it goes, just for flavour leaching. Oh, and I've changed the man cave around, we've got the PlayStation set up down there. Computer's now in that corner. Um, my laundry is in front of the wardrobe, which hopefully you won't see anymore. Pile of stuff modelling table, where the computer used to be, and the cab o tattooing and stuff, where it was. That's it for now, I'll see you tomorrow. Something I forgot to mention on today's, um, Sunday's supplemental, well, daily diary on the V Pro was how it charges. Um, obviously in the box you get the branded sort of Apple type wall plug, USB connector. And you get this do I hope I've got it in shot. Um, now that one goes into the plug. That screws into the end of the mod. Um, now, while we'll say what the longevity of the battery is, I've got two and a half, four days vaping out of it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a battery last me that long. Even AWIMRs. Now this one, charges your mobile from the mod. Now on Monday's, uh, sorry, this is Saturday's daily diary, Sunday's daily diary, I'll hope I'll do during the day whilst I'm over doing the update with Ryan. Um, and obviously we'll do a quick sort of note on it with Ryan. Um, is what we'll actually show you with charging both the mobile phone from the device itself and how you know what it does when it's charging from the mains or a computer um so yeah uh overall still a really really good little kit i'm really impressed cheers right well it's monday now i was going to do a video on this yesterday but uh, i think you saw what i said last night on jb live um but uh, I'm taking a break from the V-Pro today because we've got a bit of an issue. The button has sort of solidified. It still works. Works well. I can access all the menus as well and change everything as I want. But the button is sort of... I have a slip. I don't know if you can see it through the plastic housing there. The button sort of slipped a little bit and doesn't click um, like the V-Max or the Z-Max does anymore. It still works though. Um, batteries are going to go on charge in a minute over there. You see the black one there in between all the red ones. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, and now uh, once I sort it, I shall get the old Pro Tank on it. I mean, at the end of the day, the Vivi clone is a Vivi clone is a Vivi clone. That's a great little tank, but um, we're still sort of testing this to destruction, so to speak. Um, I think I might try on power or wattage when I do get the battery back in and charged up. Um, what I might do actually is I might just take my phone off a charge and put this on on board charge. In fact, I'll do that actually. Um, as you know, you can screw it into there and screw it into there. If you just give me a second, I'll come back to you. Uh, 
beg of you to excuse the mess I've got here in the mouth, even not entirely sorted out, but you can see it charging away nicely there, um, like an ego would. So uh, we'll leave that a couple of hours and come back to it, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow on Tuesday. Monday again, I'll say this for it, it charges bloody quickly. That was two hours from 3.6 voltage remaining to 4.2. Um, very happy with that. Uh, perhaps direct charging is the way to go for these kinds of mods. Who knows? But that I'm really impressed with. Good two hour charge, fully charged, and let's just uh, get that on there, shall we? The EVOD adapter. My EVOD. And uh, here we go. Baking beautifully. Um, my voltage. Is 4 volts. I like 4.5 on this for some reason. Okay, so last night with the V Pro for handing over to uh, Ryan. I haven't done a uh, a diary for yesterday. Uh, I don't think I did one for Tuesday, but I don't know. You've probably already figured that out. Obviously, watching the preceding days. Um, as a prototype goes, and uh, as far as I'm aware, um, it's a pretty unique kit. Um, I'm very impressed with the way it holds charge. I pretty much get about two days, a day and a half to two days vaping out of it. Um, this possibly clone Vivi Nova type style paint is excellent. I have heard it takes actual uh, Nova heads, which is good. I love the drip tip, so that's staying with me, I'm afraid, guys. Um, and on the whole, apart from this button, sort of getting a bit funny but it's still operational look you can hear that there as well it, it still works it's, so it's taken a bit of a beating I don't know if any of the other guys within our little group dynamic of YouTubers have had the same issue with their buttons I know Banfish Shizzle's screen came out um, I've had a bit of swarf from threading from my knuckle in my knuckle sorry um, and I'm not sure if Derek and Mark had similar issues at all. Um, they've all said things about voltage being a bit iffy. I've not had that myself, but I'm currently on wattage at the moment. Still cracking vapour, even on a juice that I've never tried before, which is um, poached pear and blackberry honey drizzle. I'll tell you it's bikes, I don't think it says. Um, Vapology.co.uk It's nice anyway, Tony Mayra, good stuff. I'm in vapor all day every day, but it makes for a refreshing change, a palate cleanser. Anyway, I digress. Vapro, what do I think really? Um, solid bit of kit, got a few faults, but it's a prototype. Um, if this went on the market, my recommendations would make sure that that button, whatever part of it, I think it's the actual button underneath the actual switch itself underneath it's shifted uh, through whatever reason. I, I have dropped it, well, knocked it over on my desk a few times, so we've all done that, so that's possibly one thing you need to iron out. Um, it does look as if it's shifted, but it's still firing when I put extra pressure on it. It goes through the um, menu fit well enough and it's cracking I, other than that button issue and maybe the swarf uh, bit of metal filings from the threading on the bottom on the battery cap then yeah mate this is great don't really need a lot um, 
I do know, and this is going to be quite exciting because I don't think this has been done before, that once Ryan's finished with it, not tomorrow, or today as you may be watching it, Thursday, a week Thursday, um, there's going to be probably going to be a group live review. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. All of us who have been sent within our groups a VPro are going to get together and do a group review. Um, putting all our thoughts across it, and it'll be a live one, I think, as well. So keep an eye out for that. What can I say about it? Um, I'm finishing notes. I wanted to hate it. I've ended up loving it. It's brilliant. Great idea for a kit. Perfect gift or purchase for the beginner in mods. Especially variable voltage, variable wattage. Um, and just a fabulous little item. Brilliant. Really impressive it despite its foibles. Anyway, that's enough from me. Ryan's turn now. I've been a Fury 79. You've been gorgeous. Peace.